And welcome once again to EWTN's Bookmark. I'm Doug Keck, your host, a special international one coming to us from Vatican City, speaking with His Eminence Fernando Cardinal Filoni, and he's the Grand Master of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem. And the book is The House Was Filled with the Fragrance of the Perfume, a Spirituality of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre. And it is proudly published here in the United States by EWTN Publishing. Thank you so much for finding the time to join us, Your Eminence. Thanks. Now, you were appointed Grand Master of the Equestrian Order back in January 16th of 2020. Now, how does that come about that you would be appointed? I would like just to say that uh, personally, I didn't choose to become a grandmaster of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre. The Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre is a, of Jerusalem is an institution mm -hmm. connected to the Apostolic See because of the historical juridical and the religious ties connecting one another. Mm -hmm. Let me say the order is an ancient of an ancient origin and it was recognized by blessed Pius the Nine. It is mainly a lay order made up of men as knights and the women, as the dames, ladies. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's uh, an occasion to become part of this institution and to give to this institution my experience mm -hmm. as a priest. I am. A 50 years old as a priest, as a bishop, almost 20 years old as a bishop, as a cardinal, and a wide, long experience in the church, mm -hmm. Middle East, Asian church, and the Europe. Right. So the Holy Father thought that I could become uh, his representative as a uh, Grandmaster, mm. and I am here to give uh, my pastoral, right. personal, and the spiritual experience to the order. What is the principal aim of the members who belong to the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre? Membership take, takes place upon presentation and acceptance of the members to become part of our institution, which takes name and refers to the mystery of the passion, that and the resurrection of the Lord. The Grand Master is appointed, as I told, by the Supreme Pontiff, and they represent him and leads the institution assisted by Grand Magisterium and the lieutenants and the local leaders. Mm -hmm. Now, the aims of the order are, I would like just to say the three most important. The first is the personal sanctification of our members in the light of the mystery of the passion, the death and the resurrection of the Lord. This is an essential part. Mm -hmm. The second is the commitment to support the church mm -hmm. in the Holy Land through collaboration with the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, the popes always, from the beginning, told us. Take responsibility of the church in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. And the third is that the collaboration of our members with the local churches. Mm -hmm. So we have these three fit 
The first is the personal sanctification, mm -hmm. the commitment to the church in the Holy Land, the third, the collaboration with the local churches. Therefore, our order is not just an order of honor, but it is a contributory as it has to support pastoral life, schools, mm -hmm. charitable activities in the Holy Lands, and the same also in the local churches. Now, you mentioned in the book itself that you, you talk about the adherence of the order allows us to continue the same work of Mary of Bethany. What is that work and what's the connection? Let me say that uh, when I was uh, writing this book, because uh, many members asked me, do we have any spirituality as order? Although we are not a religious order, but lay order, I told them we have a spirituality. Mm -hmm. And then we get the spirituality exactly in the mystery of the passion, the resurrection of the Lord. This is why we are the order of the Holy Sepulchre is not a tomb, mm -hmm. but is a, a sepulchre which is, was opened up for the resurrection of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we are part of this mystery of the resurrection of Jesus. We need to get our spirituality from that experience of Jesus which was left. Mm -hmm. to the church. So it is uh, very important for us to think that uh, about the church, about the life of Christ, and at the same time connecting to the life of the church. Mm -hmm. This is why my book on the same time has two parts. One reflecting on the aspect connected to the last week of uh, uh, Jesus. And uh, on the same time, what happened with the resurrection of Jesus, and they still continue to be in the church. Mm -hmm. Now, the body of Jesus historically ended with the death of Jesus. And uh, the resurrection of Jesus gave to him another uh, life. But uh, the body of Jesus still continues in the church. Mm -hmm. So it is essential to think that we continue to take care of the body of the church, which is the same, the body of Jesus. What normally we used to say, the body of the church is uh, really, uh, historically, mm -hmm. what is continuing to be in this world. So when I was just writing these guidelines, I inspired myself to all this process, which uh, it is essential, it is important for our order. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I would like to say that uh, one of the most important moment of the life, of the last moment of the life of Jesus, was when he was invited by Lazarus to Bethany. Mm -hmm. This was an experience very interesting, because uh, this family, Lazarus, Mary, and Martha, were friends of Jesus. And they experienced the suffering, the death, of Lazarus, and Jesus gave the life back to Lazarus. Inviting Jesus, that was a moment in which uh, Jesus received the, the last attention from this family, in a certain sense, from friends and from the people. What happened there is something 
very uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Mary took uh, some ointments and uh, very expensive, and it was ointing the feet of Jesus. And Jesus appreciated very much this attention, this special attention to him. And when Judas was uh, scandalized because uh, the cost of this perfume was very high, and he was thinking that it was better to give this uh, money to the poor, Jesus said, let her to, to give me this attention because it will be the last mm -hmm. in my life. So Mary was ointing the body of Jesus. It was the last ointing when Jesus was alive. Mm -hmm. This is why we think that we have to continue the same attention to the body of Jesus in the church, like Mary of Bethany, mm -hmm. who was so uh, strong to think prophetically mm -hmm. that this gesture never will end. This is why we uh, used to put to this, uh, uh, this title right. to our book. Right. And the image as well on the cover that's representative of that as well. Yes, yes. You see also in my book, uh, the cover is just uh, uh, representing these moments. Right. Uh, somebody asked me why we gave it so this title. I was to say something very, uh, uh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, at the beginning, I wasn't sure which name could be, which title could be given to the book. I want to say that uh, one of our collaborators uh, with the female sensitiveness told me, I like this expression, which is in the book, which mm -hmm. is in the, in the, in the, uh, in the gospel, in St. John gospel. Mm -hmm. So she told me how uh, the title could be given to the book. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, want, I want to just uh, to say, uh, uh, the name was given just uh, because inspired by female sensitiveness yeah. uh, when I, I was to give the title to the book. Right. You also mention on page 22 in the book that the symbol of the cross can never appear or be a mere decoration of elegance or distinction. Indeed, the cross enhanced by four other small crosses inserted in the four corners of the major cross is a distinctive sign. This cross is called of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Since there is a tendency to use crosses as a decoration, more or less worn with due regard, mm -hmm. We think that uh, taking on the cross in one's own life, as uh, Jesus taught us, is uh, fundamental. Whoever does not uh, take up his cross every day cannot uh, be my disciple. This is fundamental in following him and in the Christian life. The night and the day are aware of this. And uh, we are proud that uh, this special cross is a distinctive sign of our order. Mm -hmm. You also talk about uh, the connection with the Holy Sepulchre and also the great commitment the members have to the Eucharist and to the regular reception of the Eucharist. Yes, exactly. I want to say that uh, uh, in the heart of the church, or better, the heart of the church is the Holy Eucharist. And this is connected to the love of Mary 
to Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, with this gesture, Mary touched the heart of Jesus. If we think today, in the body of the church, the heart, what is the heart? What is the center? We believe that the center of the church is the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. This is why uh, we believe that uh, if in the church we are not linked to the Eucharist, we are losing the most important opportunity. A body is not an empty body. It's a live body, a living body. And is alive because the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. Until the Eucharist is present in the heart, in the, in the body of the church, the church is alive. Mm -hmm. When there is no Eucharist, we risk to become uh, an institution, mm -hmm. human institution. And this is terrible because it means that the church is dead. So linking the Eucharist to the body of the church is also for our order, for our institution is essential. Because if we lose the spirituality which is linked to the, the, the Eucharist, we will lose an opportunity to become a living part of the church. You also talk about that in connection with Mary of Bethany in a sense of her adoring our Lord in, in, in when she you know, obviously anointed him, and that adoration is also a major part of the order. Yes, of course. Uh, the connection uh, linking the order and that the church is essential. We are not uh, an order uh, political, social, or simply human, or perhaps of honor. We are essential part linked to the life of the church. Mm -hmm. And our constitution, our statutes underline this aspect. We are an order belonging to uh, the church. Mm -hmm. So this connection is uh, not only uh, a legal connection, mm -hmm. but on the same time as a spiritual and a moral connection. Because uh, if we see the living body of Christ today in the church, and if we are linked to the heart of the church, which is the Eucharist, mm -hmm. we can do the same in our Christian life. This is why prayer mm -hmm. and love for the Eucharist, uh, without forgetting the poor, without forgetting what we can do for social activities. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, certainly, certainly, we will lose an opportunity to be an order mm -hmm. uh, which responded today to the needs of the church. Right. And this is linked to the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. In the Holy Land, we are uh, not architects of, uh, I don't know, uh, a special uh, peace, opportunities. We wanted to be just a simple workers mm -hmm. for peace, for social presence, for activities of the church. So uh, if we help Catholic, Christian, and also Muslim families to live together, mm -hmm. to have for their children education together, to have a social aspect and to enjoy of our assistance. Mm -hmm. We are putting the fundamental elements for building a better society, understanding, and uh, also peaceful. Right. So, uh, we as an order, we would like uh, to be present there through the instrument as a cooperation for uh, the right. peace, uh, for, the, for the life 
of uh, the good of the Holy Land. Right. Now, you talk about in the book that the order has particular heartfelt love for the mother of Jesus, and you talk about also, is it Mary, our Queen of Palestine, is venerated as the patron? Uh, we can say that uh, nowadays Mary, our Lady, is still at home in the Holy Land. Let me say that she never left the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. She had lived there. It was her land of origin and the land of the Redeemer Son. Can we think that she left this land, especially now with so many difficulties and problems? So we can say that uh, she had never left Palestine. Having her as a patroness under the, this specific title mm -hmm. is like maintaining a family bond with her and her son. In the closing moments, uh, Your Eminence, what would you want our audience to understand about the equestrian order and its work? Well, as I said before, Mary uh, was entrusted to, by Jesus to John and the apostles, mm -hmm. with whom she shared the beginning of the rising church. She had been mother twice, of Christ and of the church as an order that has a special bond with Christ, we continue to cherish her in our prayer, in our commitment to Christian life. So it is important for us that what Mary was doing in her life in Nazareth, following Jesus in the Palestine, we can continue in the same way. So connection which we are through the patriarchate in helping the patriarchate to be more efficient and to give the many opportunities to our Christian families there is still important to build for the future of this land. And we as an order, we are proud that we can do it still continuing to do what Our Lady Mary uh, was doing and could do through our order there. Very good. Well said. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Your Eminence, Fernando Cardinal Filoni, Grand Master of the Equestrian Order, the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem. A uh, fine book, The House Was Filled with the Fragrance of the Perfume, A Spirituality of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre, but not limited to them. Uh, a great read for any of us looking to enhance our spirituality. Thank you so much for joining us today, Cardinal. Yes, yes, thank you. Can I say just the last word? I would sure. like just to say, everybody uh, would like to take advantage of this small book. Is uh, just uh, some guidelines for our order. But this uh, book is for all. All those who would like to uh, join to this spirituality, which is the spirituality of every Christian, perhaps will find a great spiritual benefit in this book. And I wanted to say last that uh, everything uh, we, uh, we get from the sale of this book will go to help the right. Holy Land. And uh, let me say thank you, EWTN, for taking care of the English edition of my book. Thanks. A absolutely. Better said than I could. Thank you so much, Your Eminence Fernando Cardinal Filoni, again, Grand Master of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Supplement of Jerusalem, coming to us from Vatican City. And I'm Doug Keck. We appreciate you joining us. Look for the book through EWTN's religious catalog. This has been a special EWTN bookmark. We'll see you next time.